Dee Dee, how are you feeling about the conversation? You probably shouldn't film me while I'm vaping. <laughs> It's a judgment-free zone, man. Don't worry about it. Rob, how are you feeling about the conversation? Feeling awesome for you guys. Is that because you're not doing any of it? Yeah. <laughs> I have the key. I've got my electrolytes. I've got my fan club. Are you excited? <laughs> Which event specifically are you excited for? I think the last one. The amp wrap. The amp? Oh, well, the worm one. The worm. Dumbbell work. Yeah. I feel pretty good considering we, it's Saturday now, we literally entered on Wednesday morning as a, as a little bit of banter. And um, I feel all right considering we haven't really prepped for it. There's been no deload. Uh, I've just had a big, big feast, which two flipping hours before a comp isn't normally that great for me because I like to train and compete fasted. But it should be a bit of a laugh. We're basically just doing this because we're, we, even though we're in Dubai, we were literally in the area. Not do it. We, exactly that. Yeah, it's it's Turf Games is a great brand and it's uh, it's a lot of fun and it's a really it's kind of a good opportunity. We haven't competed together before, so it should be a good laugh. And Rob, you're here to basically support and um, be the cameraman and basically be the bag bitch all day. <laughs> that is pretty much correct. Yeah. He said earlier he's super excited to have his girlfriend and his best friend do some exercise that he doesn't have to do. <laughs> Spot on. Spot on. Let's see how we get on. We are here, we are at the World Trade Center in Dubai. I'm rocking round, not very respectfully, with my mask, flipping Vietnam War, chin strap, super bright. I am so, I've only been here a week and I'm already over the moon this competition is inside. The heat in the middle of the flipping day, even in October, is punishing. So we're gonna have a wander around, see some stuff. We are on in about one hour 45, which is perfect. It means that we kind of, we know we're here, we can, intellectually decompress and kind of relax a little bit because we know we're in the right place uh, and then from there get a warm-up in and crack them so uh, myself and Didi are doing what typical people typical athletes do in the situation we're completely mugging off any inclination to look at directions and we're just following everyone else in Lycra hoping that someone has actually checked where they're going and right now we tinker to this way We're here. Yes, we can go registered. Do you know where we need to go? No. Me neither. I have absolutely no idea where we are. And as standard with everything in Dubai, everything is amazing, everything is clean, and I have no idea where the hell to go, because everything is absolutely massive. Jim. Yeah. How do you feel now that you've seen it? Uh, yeah, I feel good. I feel surprisingly calm. I think it takes the pressure off. I'm telling myself that we only entered Wednesday. There's no pressure, but I'm here and I'm like, back into flipping PTSD from Sports Day Year 6. I fucking take this today. Hi, Jim. How small do you feel compared to some of these absolute monsters? These are... It's just absurd. Like I've, strangely enough, been 33 and haven't worked in the fitness industry for however long. I've never been to Body Power, never been to the Arnold Classic or anything like that. And it's just walking around here. Obviously, you see the videos of it, but they're all just absolute monsters. And I look like a snack. I like a snack. <laughs> a very tasty snack. The important, the only important thing is. There's a broad jump in today's competition. That's the only thing I'm excited about right now. And finding some kind of source of caffeine. That as well. Caffeine. Yeah, that is good. That is good. She was right. Apple on point. So how much for a can? Five dirhams. Five dirhams. So and a pound. 24 count is a 100 dirhams. Oh, we don't have a big enough bag. Jim, what's your first uh, 
So, yeah, if you step back a little bit. So I think the way that it works, everyone, there's like three lanes. Everyone does their first event here, and then there's like four stations, and everyone kind of like filters up. Uh, but the first event is 400 meters on the run and 400 meters in the ski. Both have to be completed. And then there's 10 burpees over the rower. And you, you both have to do the 400 each, or one does one, one does it. It doesn't really matter as long as it's as long as the distance is completed on both. Yeah. So I'll I'll do the ski. Uh, Didi will do the, uh, the the air runner. And then depending on you know who finishes first, we might switch out. 10 burpees over the rower, and then once you've done three rounds of that, you make your way to the rower, and then it's effectively switching in and out, max distance, max distance or max cows, whatever it is, max cows on the rower for the remainder of 10 minutes. So basically we want to get to the rower, the score is the max cow, so we want to get to the rower, obviously as quick as possible. And then in terms of the strategy for that, what we're thinking about doing is, uh, we give you the focus on a certain amount of time or a certain number of calories, but I think if I do about 15 calories, 15, 16, 17, DD does anywhere between kind of 10 and 12, and then we switch as long as the transitions are fast. I think that's a good way to do it, that you get some breath back and then you've got a little bit of snap in your pool. So that's the first event, and then we move on to the strength stuff. What are you doing, Jim? So, I'm just putting some emergency thumb tape on my Achilles. I had stem cells in both my Achilles about two years ago. And they're just always, they're always a little bit of a danger and I can just feel it when everything starts to become a little bit more kind of neurally flipping painful. Uh, so with that being said, some tape is going on both of them now. That's the thing when you're a 33 year old flipping ex bootneck, you're just held together by sellotape and blue tack. But it should be fine. And what's going on guys, Jim Galvin here with a little bit of commentary. So, taking these things one event at a time, as would be the logical way to do things. Event one, so we are starting with the curve runner and the ski, as you can see here guys. We've got 400 meters in each. We think now, in hindsight, we made a little bit of a cock up. Uh, with me starting on the ski erg and DD starting on the curve runner. And basically, I think it would have been a lot better actually if we did this the other way around. We kind of saw that going through the three rounds. It's 400 meters in each. Then what we have to do is basically, as a as a pair, is 10 burpees over the rower. I did a little bit more on the cardio kit, so Didi basically made up for that by doing seven of the burpees over the rower, and I just did three. So three rounds of that, and as uh, basically from round one to round two to round three, we started to basically put me a little bit more under the curve runner to kind of chip away at the distance on that and put Didi on the ski. That seemed to work quite well. We'd realized we kind of cocked up because everybody else was getting off that stuff faster than us. But then as soon as we done three rounds of that, in the remaining time of 10 minutes total, it was basically max calories on the rower. Didi would do about 10 calories. I would do between 15 and 20. Nice quick transitions, especially when you don't have that much time left. The speed of kind of cycling through, getting one person off the seat and the other person in, as we should know by now. And as any of you guys that have ever competed will know, that stuff is absolutely paramount. We got 65 calories total, which is the 17 mixed everyday pairs, basically the kind of the field that we were in, the category that we were in. That came second overall. We didn't know it at the time, but in hindsight, we know that to be true. Overall, you've got to be happy with second out of 17, again, especially as we had pretty much no prep. But I do personally believe that if I went on the curve runner, if I started on the curve runner and Didi started on the ski, if we chipped away at most of the distance in that way, as most of the, uh, the mixed pairs did, with the guy on the runner and the girl on the ski, I think that we could have you know, easily add another kind of five, 10 calories to our total by the fact that we just would have gone through those first three rounds a little bit quicker. Moving on to event two guys, the strength event. In this one, luckily it wasn't too rushed. Two different barbells in use and two different exercises and you can kind of decide who did what, but the two exercises were shoulder to overhead, build up to a three rep max and a three rep max front squat, but the front squat had to be taken from the floor. With the disparity in kind of lifting numbers between myself and Didi and between most men and women, it was kind of an easy decision to make that she would do the shoulder to overhead, which she could take from the rack, and that I would do the front squat. I am not amazing at cleans. And one of the things that I kind of messed up on is I was under the impression that if I had something that I could kind of raise my heels on, because I actually have a calcium spur in my left ankle, which means my ankle mobility is not very good and unlikely to improve because I've physically got bone kind of 
in the way. So with this, I had to do a three rep max front squat with a stance that is wider than normally would be comfortable. But the good thing with this is the limiting factor is not my front squat ability, it is my ability to get it off the floor. So I'm quite happy with the 120 power clean here. It just meant that as soon as I caught it at the top, needed to kind of get my hands into a rough grip where at least I could kind of handle the weight in that position and keep my elbows nice and high. Took a slightly wider stance with my feet and then from there, the front squats actually felt quite comfortable to be honest. 120 for three for me and 65 kilos for three for shoulder to overhead for DD. That one I heat of three and that actually came first overall of all 17 pairs. So we've got to be happy with that. Moving on to event three. This is basically a broad jump event where different distances are associated with different points and it's the top four attempts of each person and then effectively they have the points up and you can take as many attempts as you want. But if two or a couple of teams were drawing, then effectively the tiebreaker is the fact that you have to do 40 wall balls, 40 synchro wall balls at the beginning. Now for me and Dee, Dee she actually nailed most of these. I, however, got no reps on the wall balls about nine times out of 40, but we did do all of them unbroken. So we ended up doing about 50. And I think that the time that we got, because we did do them unbroken, we did do them fairly quick, even though I got no reps a lot, I think still we did the quickest of the day. And with a point score, she got straight fours. I can't remember what that was with distance, but the maximum distance, or basically the maximum number of points that you could get in the broad jump event, if one jump was associated with five points, that was over two meters and 71. Now, to be honest with you guys, this is an event that I was fairly confident with in the early stages because I was like, well, my background is flipping, sprinting and jumping. I'm gonna be okay with this. And 271 on a broad jump, we actually test broad jump every time we do a testing day at ADC at my functional fitness club. And 271 is something that I should be able to do in my sleep. One thing I did not account for was the fact, it sounds like I'm making excuses here. It doesn't, I'll, I'll quickly kind of cut to the chase. I got straight five, so I got four jumps at 271 and above. So I basically maxed out on the point system, but it took me a few attempts to get there. What's happening? What's happening is I've got 12 no reps to start with. Is that because it's, it's just good. unbelievably slippy. Like, the jumps are fine. The distance is being cleared, but it's like, I mean, you can feel it on the carpet. It's just when you've got that much momentum going forward, it doesn't feel stable. Can you jump no shoes? Well, you could do, but you've, it's the top four and it's ranked in points one to five and you can do as many attempts as you want. And I got four legal jumps at five points. So it doesn't matter what I'm like. Are you done? Yeah, I'm basically done now. So that's what was he saying to Dee Dee? Dee need to jump again? It was basically, if you're between three and four, you might as well keep doing them. Yeah. Unless you get four at five, you might as well keep doing them. Dee Dee, more impressive than me, got straight fours instead of straight fives. But as the female athlete in the mix, and as someone who does not have a massive kind of plyometric athletics background, that was incredibly impressive. So that's event three, and overall, I'm very, very happy with the fact that we got the quickest of the day, the wall ball tie break, but we did not need it because we got the biggest total on the broad jumps, both in our heat and across the 17. So again, this is a second kind of event win for us. So the three events so far of all 17 pairs involved, We've won two of them and come second in one of them, so we're feeling pretty decent going into event four. Event four is a lovely, cheeky little bike erg buy-in of 30 calories, and then it's basically an am wrap from there. So we are doing 10 worm shoulder to overhead. Me and Dee, Dee obviously don't train together. We've never done this stuff before. My gym at Atlas doesn't have a worm in it, but I've done it in competition a couple of times. And luckily it was light enough that it's fairly easy to fall into a nice kind of comfortable rhythm and cadence with this. So it's 10 worm shoulder to overhead. It is then 10 as a pair, but not not synchro so you can break up the reps however many you want sandbag ground to shoulder and what we decided to do with this actually was to have Dee do all of them and the reason for that is the female sandbag is 20 kilos and the male sandbag is 40 20 kilos is so light for her that effectively she can just touch and go and then moving on to 10 synchro single arm dumbbell clean so basically tap one end of the dumbbell on the floor driving up lift the elbow up the dumbbell onto the shoulder once you've done 10 of those we actually did five each side moving on to 10 dumbbell shoulder to overhead again we did five each side and then you are back onto the bike to do 20 more calories. That then completes one round and effectively you are continuing to do as many rounds as possible of that. This was a really, really fun event in hindsight, guys, because the team that was next to us and who beat us in the first event, they were a couple of reps ahead pretty much the entire flipping event and we just kept chipping away. And as much as I'd like to take credit, where we started to catch up every single round was when Dee Dee did the 20 kilo sandbag ground to shoulder. She was doing them touch and go. The girl and the other team was super powerful on the way up, but dropping it from there, which just took a couple of seconds per rep to kind of reset, regrip, et cetera, and then go. So that is where we started to make up that time. As Dee Dee was doing all of these, I was doing a lot more calories on the bike, and those two things combined 
were what allowed us just to chip away, chip away, chip away. And again, this is a 10 minute AMRAP guys. And around about minute nine, we literally had 60 seconds, maybe 45 seconds left. That is where we finally actually not only caught up, but we took over the lead position in this event with BD doing the sandbags, moved on to the dumbbells, made sure we spent the next 20 seconds going through nice and quick with those. I jumped on the bike. It was the first time I jumped on the bike ahead. And then I literally just went hell for leather finishing off the 10 minutes and that was another event win so really 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 happy with the fact that of the four events 17 mixed everyday pairs we got first place in three of them and second place in one of them got to be happy with this considering we've literally never trained together ever and we only entered on the wednesday and this is currently a saturday so no prep no pairs training but that's kind of nice though because it just allowed us to have no expectations but all in all incredibly happy with how things went Jimmy G. Woo! We did it! How does it feel to win? It feels it feels absolutely incredible to have won the whole of Turf Games. <laughs> saying, yeah, no, it was good again, considering we didn't prep at all. We just came for the bands. <laughs> other than went to uh, TK MMA once uh, and then spent, spent an hour train beach club. walking around and then went to Train Beach Club and then basically got drunk a couple of times. Overall without his prep. I think it was good fun though. Um, I actually really enjoyed that. Yeah, like, the first event and the last event was definitely the hardest because in the middle, uh, obviously the strength one you do get a bit of aerobic rest and the wall balls and broad jump one you do get a bit of aerobic rest. So it was kind of bookended by some pretty flipping savage stuff. But yes, first place. Cannot complain. Good little day out. Obviously, obviously she carried you through the competition, right? Absolutely. I was nothing but baggage the whole time. <laughs> Robbie boy, how do we do? Well, obviously my insanely awesome camera skills gave these guys the boost. Me shouting from the side gave them the energy to keep going and win. So do you know what that says? I'm the most important person here, right? My support made it happen and they wouldn't be where they are today I couldn't have done it. it without him. I couldn't have done it without him. I probably would have done better. We would have won all of them. Uh, four events, only six minutes between. So there are 10 minute events. Six minutes between each, uh, and we won three of the four of them. So we came second in the first one. Smile, smile, smile. <laughs> this lovely lady got silver. She loved us at the start. Not anymore now. No. no. I think we can still be best friends. Oh, no. See you later. So they beat us on the first event. Six minutes break between events, and uh, and then we won the next three. The last, the very, very, very last event was really, really interesting. But basically. They maintained a pace like 10, 15 seconds ahead of us for the whole time. 10 reps ahead of us the whole time. And literally right at the end, I want to grab the bag. And literally right at the end, just about picked it. Fun day out. Can I chuck that in there? And we are done. Whoop, whoop. Adrenaline yeah. still pumping high. Uh, we're just going to head out now. If we can get through the flipping insatiable bodybuilding crowd. I definitely need a refeed. I've had a lot of caffeine, so I'm actually not really that hungry. Are you hungry? I'm starving. Yeah, oh, there we go. Apparently, just, apparently that only works for me. But I wouldn't mind a nice cup of coffee. I just feel as though that would be nice. And a couple of snacks, got dinner and a bit. But overall, really, really good day. I haven't really had as much of a chance to kind of wander around and see as much of the stuff here. It is very bodybuilding focused and uh, nothing on it. It's just not really a scene I know much about. Or kind of really am interested in. Um, but yeah, yeah, overall again, Thank considering it's Saturday, and we flipping entered this on Wednesday morning, cannot complain with how we're done. And we are home, support crew and DD, how are you feeling? Winners! Winners, winners! I so tired, I worked so hard today. He literally did nothing. So proud. So proud, so proud. Uh, yeah, I'm buzzing. I am exhausted now though. Like the adrenaline kind of kept pumping for probably about two hours after. I feel flipping sleepy now, but we are here, back, looking straight under the palm. Uh, and we've got about an hour before the sun goes down. Quick shower now, wash the grime off us, and down to the pool. Enjoy. <laughs> 